So if I jump into the security one, right? This is going to be our module regarding the security. So here we'll be seeing the features of the security that what are the features that has been provided in the security part itself, right? So you know, we'll be talking about the things like what is your security centers? The, uh, what are its capabilities? What is Azure Sentinel? Okay, we'll be talking about the key host. What is dedicated host? You know, your groups that we are having, right? What are the security services that has been provided to you by your Azure itself, right? Because again, security is going to be the very crucial part of your any of the architecture infrastructure right your apps security is always very very essential part whenever you want to look into it right now when we talk about the security tools and features so i'm going to show these features to you on the uh, domain uh, on your portal itself as well right so very first one that we are getting is your security center so security center just like we were seeing the monitoring service so it is something like that so it is your monitoring service that is going to provide a in-depth visibility in your security posture regarding your resources right the you know uh, either it is on the cloud or you know if you have connected you have opt for the hybrid cloud and you are connecting your on-prem to your cloud itself so it is going us to give you a view regarding that what is your health how is your health right how is the security of your individual particular you know resources that you have deployed so it has actually few features it can provide you the few of the it can give you few recommendation i can say right and if you want you can actually implement those particular features itself okay so this security center what it actually can do it can actually check the settings your security settings on your cloud or in your on-prem devices right and if you have some you know if it find that some crucial features are missing or security setting is not enabled so it can automatically apply those settings as well it can give you the recommendation on based of the what you should do to protect your resources and your different networks it just continuously monitor all your resources it perform automatic security assessment as well right identify a potential vulnerability threat there right? vulnerabilities or threat there right and it use its machine learning right to detect any particular if there is any particular block of malware right if it can find that there is a malware which is installed on your vm which is running as a application or you know it is consuming any other resource it can check for that as well right and it can take action on your behalf as well okay it can check all the inbound traffic as well uh, inbound malicious attacks that is coming to a way coming your way it can investigate a particular threat as well and it can just provide in just in time access control to the network ports okay so that you know you have the connection just in time right so it just checks the, about your security postures i think if you are using the big screen so you will be seeing this thing you know very closely that's something you know in this screenshot it is saying the overall secure score as well right so in this part what is actually happening this is actually checking out for your policy and compliances at this point right so by default azure it can check that you know, regarding the particular regulatory compliances in there it can run you know, your resources against the particular PCI DSS okay standard it can run it again the CIS benchmark itself okay SOC TSP itself that what is actually going on right now in the SOC center right so I'll be showing you those things one more time right and it has the different different capabilities itself the so first is the policy compliance that we I was just talking about right uh, it can run those policies okay those compliances against your management group your subscriptions right and let's just check that whether or not you know or how much compliant you are to those particular sick you know, things uh the compliances it can do the continuous assessment so it will keep checking so all these things that i was talking about few minutes ago itself that it can actually assess all the newly resource you know, all newly deployed resources or you know which you have configured prior to this point as well it can just tell you about those things that yes it is under the risk or not to so those kind of the capabilities your security center has right apart from that if you notice in this part it is also giving you the overall secure score itself right 
in the percentage right it is simply the measurement of your security of your organization security okay and it is actually based on the security control uh, that you have implemented on any particular security recommendation that your azure security center is giving to you right and it will be just more you know, more security control that it is satisfied with your security control or not is it up to the marks or up to the mark or not so that all thing is actually being checked with the particular azure security center at this point right as we can say that uh, it was actually put uh, and this part we are talking about the policy compliance and continuous assessment it can give you the tailored recommendation so based on your resources network that you have how you have implemented like it is saying that for the user account you haven't enabled any particular multi-factor authentication so it will be recommending you that if you have multiple users please allow your multi-factor authentication there right it will be simply asking you to uh, add protection as well so it provide you few features like we have your git oops like your just in time feature which call it git just in time feature just in time vm access right it give you adaptive application controls it give you the network hardening it can help you in the network hardening itself right vm hardening network hardening so if you want to implement that as well you can choose these things as well so you can go with the hardening part here okay you can pose for the file integrity monitoring as well if someone has tampered with your files or not this thing can be done as well so when i'm talking about the file integrity so all these things actually the whatever this chapter is that is mostly the part of your 500 what is happening in this so last time when you have accessed that particular file okay from that point to this point right you now the version that you are using right now what is the difference between these two you know, state that you are having right now right so it will be just checking for the file integrity that someone has tampered with your file or not that is the few few features in the security center so let me just take you to the security centers as i don't have too many machines running because what i do generally whenever i have to just use the particular vms i generally close you know, all the other ones and you know, whenever necessary just to save the cost right and that is a feature in the cloud so here if you will see that this is the part that i was talking about so this was the your secure score so if i would have the more machines and it actually required a few days of data as well analyze that what is actually happening and all those kind of thing so this point you are not seeing all those things but usually when you will be going to this particular secure score section it will be just comparing this your health regarding this you know uh, how much uh, let's say that if you have implemented the network security group or a firewall or something like that or not so based on that it will be just judging that what is required to do or not so here it will be just telling you about the regulatory compliances like you know if it is comparing uh, your machines your databases compared to pci dss or comparing it to hipaa uh, hipps right so against the hipaa or the your cis benchmark it all those results will be here so there are a few insight in there like log analytic health agent issues should be resolved in your machines right and few one else as well those will be there as well you know few issues are there so it is just suggesting you it can provide you the recommendation so there are right now 12 active recommendation for me okay which is applicable so let me just go through you know, check what are those things so as it, you can say encrypt data in transit you know, transit i can just go with this thing now restrict and you know, unauthorized access to in that okay implement secure best security processes that what i need to do right so my web app is requiring ssl certificate request right network traffic data collection agent should be installed on windows machine same thing you know data collection agent should be installed on the linux machine so these are the few recommendation and if i select you know one you know, as you can see that there is the quick fix uh, quick fix button as uh, well if i click on that that it will be just enabling this thing to me like web application should be accessible over https only not http right so i can do that as well in the storage you know, few of the security suggestion has been implemented already right so these security implementation has been already been implemented these suggestions right so these are the recommendation now as you can see right now it start giving me the bit of the secure score here right so as i was saying that it required actually few time a few uh, minutes to just gather the data and all so it is just telling me now my secure score is around 83 percent right my resource health it is just giving me resource health four is deemed as unhealthy two is healthy 
right and these kind of things are actually there you know part of this so if i'm just looking on the security center here so now my security center's uh, secure score is updated right so how much it has completed uh, recommendation the defender you there's kind of the active service that it, they are having so it will give you you know checking for the miles and all those kind of thing so you can activate it for a month or so month for free you know? free trial is also there so this is your actually the security center so you have security score if i will be you know it will be activating the regulatory compliances so you know, against the cis so you know, defend all those kind of thing right so again it will be just giving me this thing that you know uh, do you want to enable as your defender okay to unified view of security across on-prem and the cloud workload right this is actually your security center so it is just continuously monitoring it getting giving you the knowledge that what is required and all that kind of thing right so this was the very basic of your security center now next thing that we have in front of us that is going to be your azure sentinel right so your sentinel is kind of your sim solution right and it is your microsoft version of your sim solution so like you know, any other sim they work they you know uh, secure uh, this is your as you can see this sentinel is your secure information management sim solutions and secure automated uh, security automated or uh, response and the source source is actually your secure you know, secure uh, orchestration automated response right so that is uh, your sore uh, source solution right it is just going to give you the analytics and threat intelligence across all the complete enterprise so it can you know it can detect it can actually you know first thing it will be collecting so it will be collecting all the data from the different different resources so it is going to collect all the cloud data at the particular scale okay from all user all devices all application from the infrastructure and from the uh, on-prem data as well on-premises data center itself then it will be detecting that if there is a particular threat or not and it try to keep those fault uh, sorry false positive minimum as possible right it is going to investigate then with the its you know, artificial intelligence algorithms it is going to you know check the suspicious activity right as whether any suspicious activity is there or not then it is going to respond according to the incident that what you have said what action rule you have established so you can use uh, those things as well and the sentinel is actually having a lot of different different connectors as well you can connect the sentinel to your office azure active directory azure advanced threat protection and microsoft cloud app security as well right so it has multiple connector means it can collect data from all these places as well your sentinel service right and it is again your kind of centralized solution right which will be collecting the services from all the different places itself right so that is your azure sentinel if you want to create one you can create one as well and then we have the azure key vault so actually this key vault this can you know store your passwords this can store your certificate right it can store all the certificate it can store all your secrets right and you can generate secrets key okay key as well so you can you know generate your certificate keys your secrets you can store them in the key vault then you can give the different applications the permission right creating the service principle service identity to access the keys or secrets right so that kind of the services is provided to you by the azure key vault so you are going to store all of your keys secret at this centralized location and you can use those key to log in or to you know with other applications to verify them and all those kind of things right so there is your sentinel which is very important from the security perspective we have the azure key vault then again there is one specific feature in the azure let's just say that you don't want you know that in any of the data center what you want that if there is a data center you want to reserve one specific physical server for yourself only right you don't want any other particular vms running on this so you want that only my organization's resources run on that particular server so you can actually use the azure dedicated host so you have to pay a bit extra in there right but this particular server in the data center is going to be reserved for you only right for a single organization's workload so here what will be happening you can have the hardware isolation at the server level 
right you can control the update timings and all you know, when you want and one more thing let's just say that one update has been launched for this particular server so you can only defer you, know, you have to install it within the 30 days okay so you have to make sure that if you, you know, there is any new update yeah, you know, and you can just you know uh, schedule the update according to you according to your need so if you are saying that you want that to be happening into the 30 days right uh, at, let's just say you know any uh, on the monday tuesday three days after four days after right you can do it but you have to do that within the 30 day time frame okay so that's the thing you can have a physical server for yourself as well that is your azure dedicated host right